Something about a Chrysler, something about a Chrysler, something about a Chrysler that is fine, fine, fine. A ride can be really thrilling, the motor is more than willing. You can be proud to say a Chrysler's mine, mine, mine. Your friends will all be staring and wishing they were sharing the joy that is yours while cruising down the line, line, line. It has beauty front to rear. Let us shout so all can hear. There's something about a Chrysler that is fine, fine, fine. This is the city, Hollywood, California, film capital of the world television capital too, swarming with movie stars and motor cars. We were on our way home from NBC. We'd just done another TV show. It's a great life. My partner's Mike O'Shea. My name's Bill Bishop. Man, I always feel great after a good show like that, don't you? <coughs> yeah, but not that great. Oh, come on, be happy. There's something about a Chrysler, there's something about a Chrysler, there's something about a Chrysler that is fine, fine, fine. Save it, Buster, we're off the air. No, oh, I don't care, I like that song. Our ride can be really thrilling, the motor is more than willing, and you can be proud to say a Chrysler's mine, mine, mine. No wonder they named you Mike, you're always broadcasting. Well, that's better than being named after the thing you are that comes around the first of every month. Oh, you mean a Dunn? No, I don't mean a Dunn, I mean a Bill and you know it and leave Jimmy out of this. <laughs> Uh, something about a Chrysler, there's something about a Chrysler, there's something about a Chrysler that is fine, fine, fine. Ah, uh, friends will all be staring and wishing they could be sharing. Hey, wait a minute, hold it, Bill. Isn't that Don Wilson? Yeah, big as life. And twice as mad as Rochester. Let's see if we can help him out. Rochester, how much longer do we have to sit here? Only until our breath catches up with us. Well, hurry it up. We're late now. OK. Howdy, fellas. Hi, oh, what do you say, Rochester? Hello, how are you, Right. What's the matter? What does it look like What's the matter? We're out of gas. Don't look at me. I put a whole gallon in there two weeks ago. I only used a little of it this morning to clean some spots out of your clothes. Oh, this is embarrassing. On our way to rehearsal, too. Oh, oh these are the sportsmen. Oh, hello, Paulus. Mm. I like it, I like it. What are you doing back there? We were in the back seat till we had to get out and push. You want to know something that crazier than we are? <laughs> Why don't you try taking a taxi? Not when I can drive my own car. Yeah, if you can drive it. Pardon me, fellas. Just around the corner, there's a station at last. And if you wait a minute, we'll be right back with gas. Well, he came prepared. First time I ever saw anybody rush the growler for gas. Well, I better run along, too, and check on him. OK, Don, I'll see you later. The whole trouble's with this old puddle jumper, even with gas in it. I didn't know Don Wilson had a Maxwell, too. Oh, yeah, he got it once in salary. For announcing, you mean? Yeah, you remember that old radio program he had so long? The Maxwell House? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, he got it a long time ago. Hmm. Maxwell House? Maxwell Automobile? Just figures. Yeah, figures. Keeps it shined up nice, don't he? Who keeps it shined up nice? Okay, okay, right. Seems to me the thing to do would be for him to trade this in on a new car. And him pay the difference? Sure. Oh, calm now. Why not? You drive for him. You're in a position to demand it. Oh, I can demand it, all right. But I'd no longer be in a position. Seriously, Rochester, don't underrate yourself. Wilson needs you more than you need him. He does? Sure. Beautiful dream awaken to me. <laughs> no, I mean it. I mean it. Everybody in Hollywood knows about all the things you do for him. In your spare time, you're his valet, butler, cook, chauffeur. Trainer, yardman, housekeeper, janitor. Secretary, ambassador, major domo, and charge de fer. I am? Yeah. What about Barbara, laundryman, and when he can't sleep at nights, I read him bedtime stories. You see? He's right, Rochester. Yeah. How about that? You're right. 
When he comes back, I'm going to up to Mr. Wilson and I'm going to say... Uh-uh, not me. No, 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 wait. You, you don't have to do it that way. You pick out the car. You know Wilson, the kind of car that'd suit him. Oh, he'd only change it for the most beautiful car that was ever built. After all, he's got an eye for beauty. And something that stands out from all the rest, huh? Well, that's right. Why shouldn't he? He's Hollywood's biggest announcer. Why shouldn't he drive a car that's got the most class? He should. And he should also drive the safest car. His safety means a lot to other people beside himself. You're telling me. And there's something else Mr. W likes especially well. And that's comfort. Comfort? With those air foam cushions and that high roll center suspension? Automatic no clutch transmission? And, and the right kind of power steering and power brakes and air conditioning? Man, driving that car is, is as effortless as eating breakfast in bed. Here we are with pails of high octane. Here we are, we're on our way again. Lift that seat and open up the tank. Uh, uh, fellas, excuse me, I hate to interrupt such a good production of it, but where's Wilson? Where's Don Wilson? He'll be coming round the corner pretty soon. He'll be coming round. Hold it, will you, boys? Look, here's what we're going to do. When Don gets back, we're going to help Rochester and try to talk Don into getting rid of this old relic and trying to get him to buy a new car. Do you want to help us? Mm -hmm. Knock it off, fellas. Here he is now. <laughs> All set? Almost! Say, Don, we've been talking about some of the new cars. And we know about one of the new ones that's really out of this world. No, huh, fellas? The car with the new $100 billion look. The all-new 55 Chrysler! <laughs> oh, I get it now. By some strange coincidence, you two fellas just happen to be working for Chrysler, don't you? Let's say by a happy coincidence. <laughs> That's how we know about them, Don. We just got back from Detroit. Oh, did you see the new 55 Chryslers? We sure did. did. Oh, you're lucky. Lucky tastes better. Cleaner, fresher, smoother. Cut, cut, fellas. Look, I always admire the way you pick up cues, but uh, after all, uh, you're in the wrong commercial. We're just uh, merely talking about automobiles. Chrysler's are better, safer, smarter, smoother. Stop, fellas. Let's not overdo it. Hey, wait, Don. This gives me a great idea. After all, you know, it, it's a matter of taste buying a car, too. Bill, why don't you tell them all about the new 55 Chrysler? The boys can write up some nice singing commercials, and we'll all get together, and maybe we can sell a new Chrysler to, uh, you know who? Okay? Okay. Okay? Okay! Okay! I don't know who you fellas are ganging up on, but I do know that... For the past several years, Chrysler engineers have been secretly working on a completely new car. What I want to know now, is this it? Don, this is it. Hmm, that's good. And getting better all the time. And you probably know that during those years, the engineers have been experimenting with several idea cars. You mean, sort of dream cars of the future? In a way, but a little more down to earth than the dream car approach. They've picked some of the tricky new things that people go for in this country and some of the best features of the most popular French and Italian sports cars. But they haven't copied anybody. The new Chrysler is completely new from bumper to bumper. Completely revolutionary without being a... Uh, 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 screwball? Uh, let's say impractical. You say impractical, I'll say screwball. Uh. <laughs> What's that? I don't know. Sounds like a telephone. Rochester! Oh, excuse me, I forgot. Mr. Don Wilson's phone, radio and TV announcing, neatly done. I'm looking right at this kid and I still don't believe it. Haven't you fellows ever seen a car telephone before? Yeah, it must be one of the early models. <laughs> Who in Detroit is calling operator? The Prince. What Prince? Oh, Quince. W would you mind spelling it, please? E C Q U I N N N what? E C Q U. Hey, that's Ed Quinn. That's the boss. Hey, put him on. Put him on. Oh, oh, oh! Uh, put Mr. Quinn on, operator. Yes, ma'am. We're ready on your call, Mr. Quinn. You have a direct line to the dealer meeting. Thank you. I hate to interrupt our friends out there in Hollywood, but now that you're about to see the newest and greatest car ever built, I have a few thoughts I would like to get off my chest. 
First, I want to greet the ladies here today. I know you have already been welcomed. I just want to add that we at Chrysler feel that you are mighty important members of the team, and certainly the prettiest. We are especially happy to have you here today because the amazing and beautiful new Chrysler you are about to see was styled with women like you in mind. I'm glad also we have so many salesmen here today. Some of you have been one of us a long time. Others are comparatively new. But to all of you, to dealers and salesmen alike, I say this, gentlemen, this is the year. Walter P. Chrysler once said, the most anxious, the most exciting, the happiest moments he'd ever known were when he presented the new models to the dealers. Today, I'd like to echo his sentiments. I know you've heard and you've read that big changes were taking place at Chrysler. The last few months, many of you have asked me, what are they going to be like? I got to answering that with a question of my own. What kind of a car would you like to see? To that seems I always got the same answer. They'd think a minute, then say, I don't know, different looking, I guess. How much different, I'd ask. You mean uh, Buck Rogers? Oh no, they were quick on that one, but different. So the best I could figure out what they really wanted was a car that would be the embodiment of a trend. First of all, a beautiful car, correctly styled, in the best of taste, with a lot of new features that will set the standard for years to come. Well, gentlemen, that's what we have. We haven't copied anybody. We have created for you Chrysler Originals. We are in the advanced trajectory of the trend in automobiles. In fact, we're as far ahead as it is safe to go in one big change. I know as well as I'm standing here that this year we have the cars the rest of them will be copying for a long time to come. In all sincerity, ladies and gentlemen of Chrysler, I think this is about the proudest moment of my life, presenting to you the new cars direct from the new Chrysler Proving Grounds. Okay, Mr. Operator, fade me out. Pull back these curtains. Open up this screen. Let Bill Bishop take it from here. Now we are. From the new Chrysler Proving Grounds. Okay, Mr. Operator, fade me out. Pull back these curtains. Open up this screen. Let Bill Bishop take it from here. This is Chrysler for 1955. There you are, the all-new, all-American beauty. And it's all wonderful. Chrysler's new $100 million look. First and foremost, there's lyrical beauty, surging with power beauty. 250 horsepower in clean, long, low lines, taut, sleek metalwork, a perfect proportioning of hood to no and rear deck, a symphony in motion, America's most smartly different car. This is the New Yorker Deluxe. The long, slightly crowned hood sweeps forward and downward between the clearly defined front fenders. The divided grille emphasizes its width and lowness. Two elements with a graceful chromed box check motif are set directly above a third opening, which extends across the front of the car. Body color extends down between the openings to further emphasize the lowness of the forefront and to form a setting for the distinctively new medallions. Immediately below the twin grills, a horizontal bar of gleaming chrome extends across the lower opening. It widens into a band and wraps around the corner of the fender. The bumper also wraps around the fender to the wheel opening, unifying the whole front end. The graceful floating bar bumper guard carries oval parking lights in each end. Headlight bezels of heavy sculptured chrome thrust boldly forward of the fenders. The 
whole front end treatment is one that seems to shout. Under this hood is the most powerful engine yet in a car that's eager to go. The long, graceful sweep of the hood affords a new, close-in view of the road and of each fender. The fenders have been defined to add interest and break up any suggestion of bulk. And for the very important reason that fenders have always been a characteristic part of an automobile. The wheel openings are prominent to point up the functional beauty of the wheel. For centuries, artists have declared the wheel to be the perfect art form. We are capitalizing on it. The wheel covers are patterned to throw off flecks of light as they roll. A strong character line formed in the body metal itself runs straight back along the side to fare smoothly into the clearly defined rear fender. This line is further accentuated by the upper band of the dual sweep moldings of the New Yorker Deluxe. This neat touch unifies the side treatment and helps give the long, slim appearance. It also hits you with a dramatic flash of color by repeating the roof shade in two-tone models. Beyond the wide curving rear window, the slightly crowned deck slopes downward between the fenders, giving them distinctive definition. The outboard location of the tall, deeply sectioned tail lights, the long, tapering, chromed spears on either side of the Chrysler shield, the big wraparound bumper and floating bar guard all give emphasis to the wide expanse of the rear end. The striking head-on view reveals the strong road-hugging appearance created by the pronounced inslope above the belt line, referred to among stylists by the marine term, tumble home. And it does hug the road on even the sharpest curves. The new front suspension controls body lead. The new Chrysler not only looks wider, it is wider below the belt line. The gently tapering roof lines, the increased glass area of the enclosure, all serve to concentrate the apparent mass of the car low to the ground, where it belongs. Without a doubt, you have already noted the new windshield with its crisp-looking cadet visor or skybrow. Here, for the first time, is a real, for sure, honest-to-goodness, full wraparound. Let me show you what I mean. Up to a short time ago, most windshields were like this. They were installed on a slant, like so. Then, someone got the idea of bringing the glass on around further to provide more glass area and partially correct the blind spot of the aid posts. It did provide more glass area. It did move the bottom part of the post back, but it left the post perpendicular. Now, it so happens that most of the things we see through our windshields are also perpendicular. Signposts are perpendicular. Buildings, poles, people are all perpendicular. Huh, unless they get knocked horizontal. A perpendicular object, the width of a windshield post that close to your eye, can pretty effectually block out perpendicular objects as far away as the curb or approaching from the side. The same width post reset a slant and it doesn't take much of a slope to do it. Always leaves at least part of the perpendicular objects in view. So Chrysler designers pulled the top of the glass around too, as well as the bottom, providing a true wraparound or super scenic windshield. Still more glass area with a slanted end post, cleaning up another blind spot. Here's how it compares in actual use. We are looking out through the windshield of a well-known competitive car. Now watch your view as we switch to the new Chrysler Super Scenic Windshield and Down Slant Hood Line. It opens up before us like all outdoors. Or, looking at it another way, here is a still picture of your view through the same competitive windshield. Watch again how the view opens up. When you look at the same one out of the new Chrysler, revealing things you didn't even see before. But let's stop and take a look at the interior of this flashing new beauty. 
When you go to open the door, your first thrill will be the completely new and distinctive handles. An adaptation of the handles first seen on the Chrysler Idea cars. They operate on a simple push-pull principle. Step into your dream car come true. What do you notice first? The rich, stunning interior? The imaginative dash? The uncluttered steering post? Here is the latest development in truly automatic drive. First, we eliminated the clutch. Now we have removed the extraneous quadrant and selector lever from the steering post and located the lever in the dash with the other controls in easy reach, but out of the way. The operation is the same. Just start the motor, move your selector into drive position, and go. You may drive for hours without touching it again. And doesn't the column itself have a clean, able look? Now, all you have to do with the steering wheel is steer. Chrysler's full-time power steering has been further improved through the use of coaxial construction. It requires less turning of the wheel to park than in competitive cars. Note the ease with which she circumnavigates the maze of highway cones. Two new features in braking. The new suspended foot brake combined with power braking reacts faster with less pressure and eliminates the unsightly hole in the floor to shut out dirt, fumes, and noise. The power brake assembly has been moved from under the car to the engine side of the cowl partition close to the pivot point of the pedal. The new handbrake with a completely separate braking system is mounted directly in the panel face for instant accessibility. Of course, a center of interest in the new Chrysler interior is the beautifully conceived instrument panel. The glare-proof safety cushion has been made deeper and brought around into the doors, creating a definite cockpit feeling. The control panel includes a new search tuning radio. Available this year are electrically operated windows. The whole interior has a clean, fresh, contemporary look with a dash of sports car flavor. Seat backs have a new bolster within a bolster effect in interesting pattern and color combinations, exciting new fabrics and colors. Together with the coil spring foundation, they become about the most comfortable seats in the world, more comfortable than most home furniture. The carpet matches the rest of the color keyed interior. Its deep loop pile is of heavy denier rayon yarn backed with soft sponge rubber. Yes, sir, there goes the peak of performance, the pride of possession. In other words, there goes a 1955 Chrysler. Ahead, waiting its turn to enter the world's largest speed oval, is the New Yorker Deluxe St. Regis. All the wonderful features of the four-door are repeated in this beauty, plus the popular components of the hardtop. In the front seat, the same feeling that you are sitting in a cockpit with a sensation of spaciousness, power, and security. The seat cloth is a new nylon-faced random pattern that is beautifully accented by the richness of the lighter colored pleated leather bolsters. Another new Chrysler, the Windsor Deluxe four-door. And look what's happened to it. In the first place, it has a new engine, a brand new Spitfire V8. Using the same block as its older brother, the Firepower V8. 185 horsepower. That's a 50% hike. That's the big news this year. The Windsor Deluxe, too, is a new Chrysler from bumper to bumper. 
a slim, vigorous motor car whose power of attraction matches its power of action. The same power flight transmission, coaxial power steering are available, along with new suspension and new structural strength. And many other improvements and refinements are in this dramatic addition of America's first family of fine cars. The new divided grille emphasizes the same width and lowness. The new super scenic windshield with off the glass parking for the windshield wipers. The same long tapering roof lines. Along the side, the character line is accented by a single bright chrome molding. Strikingly new interior fine car style and appointments. Four-door sedans are available in three optional combinations of two-tone fabrics. It looks as pride-worthy going away as it does coming toward you. Here's a car that doesn't look built by the mile and chopped off by the yard. It's another completely new Chrysler whose distinction and integrity will set it apart anywhere on the road. Let's watch a few proving ground tests, such as the water tank. The unimproved road. The Windsor Deluxe and all the other Chryslers have to prove their stamina in round-the-clock all types of service. At Chrysler, performance still counts. They must be invulnerable to dust. Even the rocky road to Dublin was never like this but it gives you a rough idea. And lastly, the car that rates fanfares in any company, the Imperial. We start with the name, because that's the only thing about it that hasn't changed. The new body which it shares with no other car in the Chrysler line sets it apart from anything that has yet appeared on the luxury car scene. The glamorous Imperial is large and commanding, but without any look of oppressive bulk. Its slim lines, taut body metal, and classic proportions see to that. It is a car in which every component is carefully integrated to make it what it is, a car that looks like a car. It's a longer car inside, not a longer wheelbase. Its interior room is now greater than any other car, including the CAD Fleetwood. It's a wider car inside, four inches wider in hip room. The long, low sloping hood suggests a feeling of forward motion and the powerful engine that purrs beneath it. The slight crease in the metal helps driver orientation. A focal point this year is the new super scenic windshield, completely unlike any ever offered before on any car. A complete wraparound glass that increases driver visibility, set off by the short cadet visor and off the glass parking for the wipers. Centers of interest in the rear end treatment are the unique taillights on gleaming chromed saddles atop the rear fenders. Unlike any ever found before, except on the famous Chrysler Idea cars, they proclaim the distinctive character of the new Imperial. The gently crowned and sloping rear deck defines the fenders which, with the upstanding taillights, are an appreciated aid in parking this long car. This, then, is the Imperial at first glance a car designed for the utmost in beauty, safety, and performance, and executed with the devotion to perfection that is traditionally Chrysler. The interior styling carefully conveys the air of luxury that the world has come to expect of the Imperial. The new padded cockpit front seat, the new uncluttered steering column, new efficiency instrument panel, luxurious new fabrics in high style patterns and combinations. The electrically operated front seat moves up and down, forward or back, at the fingertip touch of a button. The door windows also are push-button controlled. The traditional richness of fine fabrics takes on added meaning through striking new bolster and trim designs. Bright work is finely crafted and handled with discrimination and good taste. The complete decor styled for those who appreciate the finest. In the Imperial Newport, Dramatic new interiors complement and accentuate the vivid new body color combinations. The new features of all Imperials include new beauty and prestige, four inches longer and seven cubic feet roomier, increased horsepower, power flight transmission, coaxial power steering, power brakes, 
power lift seats and windows, super scenic windshield, search tuning radio, and back seat radio speaker. A completely new heating and ventilating system and greatly improved Chrysler air temp air conditioning. Truly more than just a new car. Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching Glamour in Motion. What's this? Oh, we were almost forgetting one of our best sellers, the New Yorker convertible. You will look far and wide to find anything as low, wide, and handsome. And here is another case of handsome is and handsome does. Flashing appearance with flashing performance to match. I'm going to pause a moment and let you just enjoy this car's looks. Closing, I have one more thing I want to say. So far, I haven't said a word about Chrysler engineering. Maybe we've heard about it so much it's gotten to be old stuff. We know it's there, and we know it's good. Sometimes, I wonder if we don't forget how good it is. In this closing minute, we're going to give you a quick demonstration you'll never forget. I've already told you about the new Chrysler Proving Grounds with the largest high-speed oval in the world. There it is down there. You can even see our car picking up speed as it goes around. Wonder how fast they're traveling on that straightaway. Uh-oh. Over a hundred miles an hour and still climbing. Of course, on this track, a car is operating under near-perfect conditions. You wouldn't think of trying this anywhere else. and ten. That's on a straightaway, but we're coming to a curve. The needle's hitting the pin 120 miles an hour. How can he... Oh, for Pete's sake, he's taken both hands off the wheel. Talk about road hugging and cornering ability. That's mechanical perfection. That, in case we've forgotten what we have, that is Chrysler Engineering. And there's a lot more, but that's all I can think of, right? Well, that ought to be enough for a starter. You fellas got the singing commercials ready? Yeah, just about. Good, I'd like to hear them. You're gonna hear it plenty. How about it? Shall we give it a try? Why not? Have you heard? No! Haven't you heard? No! no. Well, well, where, where have you been? been? Then we'll say it again. For well, this is worth repeating, repeating, repeating. And every word we say is true, so true. So we'll keep on repeating, repeating, repeating. A Chrysler is a car for you, just you. They'll tell you by the hundreds, the thousands, and the millions that Chrysler is a car for you. The rich man, the poor man, they know their money's worth. And get it in a Chrysler, the finest car on earth. The engine we'll mention, the new Firepower V8. 250 horsepower like a Spitfire, it's great. Full-time power steering, power seat lifts, power brakes. They've got what it takes, there's power to go, there's power to stop. And the body, it's low, wide, and handsome. It's the most beautiful thing on wheels. Attractive to drivers to see. And on closer inspection, you'll find it perfection. A modern symphony. 
Here is beauty beyond compare Chrysler designed with the greatest of care To young and old it appears Every heart it steals The most beautiful thing on wheels Well, how you liking it, Don? Pretty good, huh? Yeah. I don't know who the poor duffer is you're doing this for, but if he doesn't buy a 55 Chrysler, he's crazy. <laughs> this is the All-American, Mr. and Mrs. America, calling Mr. and Mrs. America. Get in line, line, line. You will find you can that you're alive so that you can drive this brand new 55. You will shout, there's something about this wonderful Chrysler. That is...